Hi there, Kawa here. So this video is going to be uh, talking about the weekly events that we have coming up. So as you can see, we have Mr. Baldi here. He is um, a really good unit, in my opinion at least. Um, he has the very unique chase of knockdown to low float plus high combo and immobile, which from my knowledge, no one else has. And uh, he also is immune to debuffs. I do not know why he is immune to debuffs, but he is. <laughs> and he has uh, a buff for Konoha members. Uh, if I remember correctly, it involves defensive stats. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was defensive stats. And I think it's one of those as long as he's like on the field type buffs. So he is really good. Um, he was either free or like really really cheap in the Chinese servers and yeah I wouldn't mind seeing him be the same here but there is a slight issue with him that we're gonna address when we get to it so yeah we have uh, the other new ninja we have is uh, Karin Christmas um, I really do not recall what she does exactly so I could say that she's probably not that great. Uh, I really just remember that she has, well, she as all the Christmas people have, they summon the Christmas tree and they do something if the Christmas tree is out. Uh, I know she was poison related for sure, and I think it was like at the end of the round, if the tree is alive, it um, poisons people. And uh, if. And then obviously her mystery is if the tree's around, she does something, which is probably poison related. And then if the uh, uh, tree is not around, she resummons the tree. Though I do remember she has a standard attack that I think causes high float. And it's like an exploding present. She hits you with like an exploding present, and I'm pretty sure it ignites. Uh, that's all I really remember about her. Um, she's probably not that great. Probably. <laughs> Because she's like one of those collection type units, I don't think she's that great. Uh, but I'll put out my verdict when I actually have her. I have every intent to pick her up because I don't want to miss out and then we don't see her show up like for another year. That would be so bad. Um, okay, so the other thing we have is we got uh, breakthroughs for a guy. Um, all I have to say is long overdue. It's pretty much worthless now. Um, I wouldn't go hard for them, don't even bother. Like, the only thing I remember that it does that's important is that it increases his uh, Taijutsu buff. And that's literally all I can remember one of his books doing. It's, I guess it's good for, like, newer servers where, you know, you're kind of still low level and Guy is, you know, one of those easy to farm frags. So... Yeah, I guess. Um, you can use some of the lightning main blitz in the, you know, when you're still new to the game. But for people who's been around, he's not that good. It's not even worth the time. So, also, as you can see, we have um, a new outfit, the Jingle Bells. It gives you ninjutsu and attack. And you get a nice little reindeer and a sled. Um, yeah, uh, there's an issue with this uh, outfit, too. We're going to touch in on that in a second. Um, well, not in a second. We'll touch in on it as we get to it. But, yeah. It's something I hope Oasis is going to address because it's a pretty big deal. Same as with uh, Mr. Baldy here. There's a problem with him, too. Um, yeah, so the Weekly Strong Ninjas is I for Fry Kage. Um, don't really care. He's not good until he gets his uh, experiments. Uh, we have Sasuke Renegon, uh, Edo Minato, and Edo Hiruzen. Uh, all four of them are expensive units that I wouldn't bother picking them up unless you don't. You have, you know, spare ingots or coupons lying around. Um, yeah, this is really more for spenders, like, but if you're like a free-to-play, I wouldn't bother picking up any of them. Because none of them are just worth your time. I'm not going to go into details because I could, I'm pretty sure everyone has heard me rant about all four of them before. Just, yeah, I'm not going to go into details. <laughs> uh, so moving forward, um, 
we get into 3v3 arena and um from my understanding is uh every month from this point forward we're going to get two weeks of the 3v3 arena and then it's going to close for two weeks and when the next month comes around it's going to open up again and uh they're doing that and putting in i'm going to assume they're going to put in new ninja frags in here every time it opens up so this time we get shiriku uh baldi but there is an issue here with timing because it seems like we want to get 70 frags of uh, Baldi, which is not enough to recruit him if he's a 3-star. I think in China he was a 2-star. Don't don't quote me on that one. I think he was 2-stars. I can't confirm. Um, yeah, but if they wanted to correct this, they could just simply bump up the amount of frags we get from the 3v3 arena like by one and it should work out but yeah this is a glaring problem if they're just going to give us enough to get 70 frags then because then we won't be able to recruit him unless he's in one of these other events where you know we can pick up like a few frags of him um i hope always is planned out correctly this issue um yeah, because I'm pretty sure a lot of people could use Baldi here. Baldi is a very good unit. Um, yeah, so the next thing we have is the Infinite Tsukiyomi. Nothing much to say here. You know, recharge, get Madara if you want him. Um, I do not. I don't really care about it, so I'm not going to bother. Also, I have a lot of ingots I'm still sitting on. It's going to go towards a very specific unit. If he shows up, um, if he doesn't show up, I'm not going to use any of it. And I'm just going to save it up for the next Fukumaru. Uh, so we have a recharge slot machine. I personally never liked the slot machine. It's not because I never got anything from it. I actually hit the first place prize multiple times. That's why I have a 5 star Hokage Tsunade. But this prize payout is relatively crap. Um, you get the 4th Raikage, Raikage Breakthrough Pack. And that's really just that, you know... Um, bag that you know you can open up and select which skill book you want and get like frags of him um i wouldn't bother or i, I actually don't even want to hit that if i you know was doing the slot machine and like second place prize is hashirama edo tensei and it, that's another thing it's like uh that's one frag i get like one frag every 60 seal scrolls i use on um the great ninja war seal treasure and we just went through a seal treasure rebate. So if you really wanted his frags, you would have already gotten them already from the seal rebate. So, eh, this is not that good either. Uh, third place prize is probably the best pro prize, which is kind of sad. Because, you know, you can get the charm packs, uh, you can get the cave keys, the rainbow mugs. I already have any of these in either of the first place or second place. Actually, uh, I guess I, I, I might have to say the first place prize is okay, because I do want, you know, I wouldn't mind more of his books, but at the same time, it's he's not good until he gets the experiment where he can change his uh, lifesteal passive over to the um, scaling passive, where, you know, he gains more uh, yeah, attack, yeah, attack and defense, uh, with more chakra so this is kind of a whiff it's not that great uh we have no idea what's in the spending rebate but i'm going to assume that sasuke is in here and for those who didn't get sasuke during the recharge and are they're gonna get him for spending outside of a fukumaru week uh my only real question is why why didn't you just recharge for him? <laughs> that would have been a way better plan if you really wanted him. Um, yeah, and then for those people who are, you know, going to be upset that, hey, I can't get Sasuke without, you know, spending. Well, give it some time. It's bound to happen. It's bound to it. He'll, he'll eventually show up for coupons. Just, just wait it out a bit. Gotta be patient. Gotta be patient when you're free to play. So, the next thing here is with Time Limited Shop. Um, so, it's kind of like a double spending rebate, I guess you can call it. Um, but looking at what you can pick up, there's not really much. 
Uh, I won't bother with the Susano Sasuke. Uh, and me personally, I have the, tur the Tortoise already, and I have the Salamanders. I don't need either of these. I have Killer Bee. I don't need more Bond Scrolls. I have too many. So the only thing in here for me to pick up is this Kareen Christmas Frags. Uh, I'm questioning, is this the only place she shows up? Because if this is the only place she shows up, then they're kind of forcing my hand if I want to get all her frags. I hope this is not the only place she shows up. And then for people who are not me, obviously, um, and you're looking for power options, you can ignore the scrolls, the bond optional scrolls, and instead go pick up the uh, summons. Because your summons are worth more power down the line, because you can open more of their uh, those hexagons and get more stats out of them. So as the tortoise has been here longer, uh, I would think that people have more frags of him. So yeah, pick up the tortoise first, I guess, if you have more frags. Or you know, you kick up, you pick up Ipisu if you have more of his frags. Don't bother with anything else in here. It's really not worth the time. And if you're in the same boat as me, just pick up the Kyrene frags. So here is the Konoha Great Tree. Uh, I'm just suspecting that Edo Hiruzen, Minato, and potentially I is in here. Um, I don't. Yeah, they, they usually just stick those like three in here. Uh, and the other thing is, this event is usually a hit or a miss. Sometimes, like midway through the tree, like around like level three or four, they would put some decent things in, and which would caused me to actually spend some coupons to you know to do the tree to collect all those things uh last time it was like the miyaboku uh training and i was just like oh they're giving like three out i might as well just do it you know um and that was the only time they got they really convinced me to do the konoha great tree outside of the time where i wanted like a unit from the tree but yeah i think if it's just those three i'm not interested at least me personally i'm not interested uh, but it also depends what the prizes they're putting in the tree are. Because sometimes if it's a good prize, they'll be able to tempt me to do some spins. But, more or less, this is one of those I probably shouldn't spend on it type of event. Unless, you know, there's something you really want. But, from seeing what the ninjas are this week, I don't think anyone should be really spending that hard. Because the, sp not the week that we were supposed to spend is this Fukumaru week. That was a good spending week. Um, Treasure of the Sage. This is another one of those events right now where uh, I don't personally think it's great. There's not much in here these days. Uh, I know a lot of people def uh, default to picking up the advanced refines. But my main advice is you really shouldn't because it's not worth it just just completely not worth it you can pick it up in the grocery store and it's really not worth that much battle power so don't stress out over your advanced refines uh on the other hand though there are times where the amount miyaboku stuff show up um if you see them for like i think the maximum might be 30 percent off so if you spot them for 30 percent off and your amount miyaboku isn't too you know upgraded yet you could pick it up and you know work on your Mount Miyaboku. And I guess you can pick up the Summer Nights outfit. Um, it's, I think from what I remember, this is the only place it has shown up. Uh, I don't even have it yet, so I probably should pick it up. Uh, yeah, so... Unless you spot things at, like, maximum discount, I won't even bother picking it up, because we're here for value. If it's no, we don't get the value out of it, I wouldn't even waste my time working on it. There's always next time. So, here's the other issue we got now. The uh, one ingot sale. So, down here, as you can see, is the new battle armor. And the one ingot sale. So, from my understanding, how this is going to work. There's going to be a limited amount of these, and we're going to fight over it. Uh, I, I really hope that's not what's happening. I really hope that they would just place this in... Maybe uh, the tree, the gr the great tree, because come on, it's Christmas. <laughs> it's like why are they forcing us to work for this? Unless I don't know, maybe no, they'll they'll never give it to us for free. So yeah, I I don't know, I don't I don't like the fact that it's in here. That's just me though. 
unless there, there's a gimmick behind it, then I guess. Maybe it really is one ingot. <laughs> if it was really one ingot, then fine. I'll pay 50 ingots to get this outfit, no problem. But, um, yeah, I, I, I can't suspend my disbelief enough to believe in that. Uh, okay, and then here's another great event that everyone usually loves. Uh, Miyaboku Trio. Um, it's free coupons and free stuff every day. Who doesn't love it? <laughs> just, just, don't screw up. You really can't screw up this event. It's really easy. Uh, and we're getting uh, Fukumaru, the, the money cat, retaining fortune. I think that's the one where he's holding the rice ball over his head. I think it's that one. So I think they should put mine to like four stars. And then it's for, you know, whoever doesn't have it will at least get done now. So yeah, I don't mind that. Usually they're just putting something crappy in here anyway, so eh, that's fine. No issue here. Um, and then, you know, you always get the wheel offering. I always do at least one spin on the wheel offering because it costs 100 coupons. Uh, 100 coupons doesn't put a dent in me. And the thing that you usually get back is worth more than 100 coupons. So I always do at least one spin. Sometimes there's like really good stuff and sometimes there's like some really shitty stuff. I think last time we had it, uh, Death Possession, Hidan, and Tamari Frags, and I was just thinking to myself, I don't want either of them. Please don't, you know, for my hundred coupons, don't give me either of those frags. Just give me some of the power items, please. <laughs> uh, summon rebate. Nothing much to see here. You know, spend your summoning scrolls. I hope everyone has a hundred that they use on this every event. Especially for those who don't have their two super rares yet, uh, which is the King of Hell and Kirin. You really should be saving and spending it all during this time frame. Uh, we have cake key exploration. Um, same thing I always say. Um, should be holding your cave keys for this event. Uh, if you can't do the full 2,000, do at least the 1,000. And if you can't do even the 1,000, don't even use any keys. Unless you could get the full 1,000 or a full 2,000, do not waste keys. Just wait for the next time. Be patient. Uh, Wishing Lantern? Uh, nothing to see here. This event's terrible. Uh, Tail Beast Attack, equally terrible. And, yeah. That's it for this week. Um, I hope that they'll fix the things I, I, uh, I've mentioned. Like, Mr. Baldy here. I hope we can get him completed. And I hope this battle armor is not really going to be something we have to fight over. Um, it kind of defeats the Christmas spirit. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Alright guys, have fun.